Hi, I'm Francisca Vasconcelos, a junior at Torrey Pines High School in San Diego, California. I'm also a competitive soccer player, and one day I realized that it would be super cool if I could use a drone to take close-up videos of my dribbling skills in soccer practices to improve my technique. I needed the drone to follow me at a programmable distance depending on the soccer drills. Since I love hacking, I decided to program a drone to do this for me. I started reading about how the human brain is able to understand images so quickly. I learned that it does so through an attention mechanism that allows us to focus on the most important regions of the scene. At this point, I decided to build an artificial attention system for my drone. My attention system combines two components, a bottom-up saliency component for speed and a top-down one to follow the objects that I wanted to track. I then decided to focus the drone's attention on a badge that displays a visual code, which is a pattern of black and white squares. By changing this code, I can program the drone to do different things, such as shooting video at different distances. I'm very happy to report that I was able to make this work in real time, which allowed me to link the vision system to a PID controller for issuing velocity commands to the drone. As you can see here, the drone can follow the user of the badge at both day and nighttime. In this case, the badge is a unique user ID that lets the drone know who it should follow. In the next video, we will show an example of dynamic behavior programming. The user shows the drone two different badges, which program the drone in real time to shoot video at two different distances. As the user alternates between the two badges, the drone reacts, flying closer or farther away. I also conducted several experiments to test the effectiveness of the two attention components. I was excited by the fact that the combination of the two achieved the best trade-off between speed and accuracy. This is in agreement with the use of the two mechanisms by the human brain. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed my project as much as I did.